Hello friends, today we are going to see how psychology is related to different sciences. In the 21st century, we have seen that psychology is being helped by different sciences and psychology also is helping different sciences. So today we are going to see how psychology is related to other sciences. Now whether that is natural sciences like physics, chemistry, biology or whether it is social sciences like anthropology, sociology, economics, history, how psychology helps these sciences grow and how these sciences helps psychology grow. Both you know psychology and sciences have found a relationship in the 21st century. So they are helping each other okay psychology is helping other sciences and other sciences are helping psychology in this particular video we are going to focus on the psychology in relation to other sciences so let us first look at the definition of psychology so psychology is nothing but a scientific study okay very important that it is a scientific study of our experiences whether they are experiences you know overt experiences or whether they are covert experiences whether they are perceptual experiences or whether they are uh, dreams okay psychology is their study psychology is also the study of mental processes okay psychology is also the study of behavior in different different contexts so what are mental processes okay maintaining a uh, you know a memory inside a brain okay retrieving a memory thinking problem solving all of them are mental processes and all of them are studied under psychology now behaviors or overt or covert behaviors all of them are studied under psychology so what is psychology psychology is the scientific study of experiences mental processes behaviors in different different contexts okay and now we are going to see how psychology is related to different social sciences and natural sciences. We are going to see that psychology is related to social sciences. We are going to particularly focus on anthropology, that how psychology is related to anthropology, sociology, economics, political science and history in very short. In the same way, we are going to also talk about how psychology is related to natural sciences such as biology, chemistry and physics. Okay, I better make this arrow double-sided because psychology and uh, the social and natural sciences they have a reciprocal relationship both of these okay so social sciences and natural sciences all both of them they contribute to psychology and psychology also contributes to them okay so first let us look at one by one at the social sciences okay so the first one is anthropology so what is anthropology Anthropology is the study of origin of human society, that how human society originated, how different cultures in the human society originated. Okay, it studies primitive societies. Okay, so when we are talking about origin, so it is not going to talk about the current societies, it, it talks about the primitive societies, the primitive civilizations that we had. Okay, and it also takes a macro perspective. For example, when we talk about psychology, this is the sign of psychology. We generally focus on individual. Okay, generally our focus is on individual, individual person's behavior, individual's mental experiences and individual's experiences. We do not focus on the society as a whole. But here in anthropology, we are focusing on the society as a whole. We are focusing on the culture of that society. And therefore, we say that anthropology is similar to psychology but it takes a macro perspective rather than looking at individual person's behavior it talks about the behavior of the entire society the culture of the entire society there is a very important quote which says that human civilization or human culture influences human behavior and human behavior in turn influences human culture okay so therefore it is very it becomes very important for us to study psychology in relation to anthropology or anthropology in relation to psychology and because of which there are many hybrid branches which have come up the first one is cultural psychology where we study individual behavior in terms of or in relation to different cultures for example how a person from individualistic culture would behave or a western culture would behave okay how a person from individualistic culture would behave and how a person from collectivistic culture would behave okay 
then the next one is psychological anthropology where we study anthropology from the point of view of psychology from the perspective of psychology then we come to evolutionary psychology where we study how our behaviors have evolved okay how our behaviors have evolved over the time why do we have a behavior that we have today okay so that is the relationship of psychology with anthropology next we come to sociology so sociology is all about the development and structure and functioning of society okay of human society the development structure and functioning of human society is something that we study under sociology okay again this is also a macro perspective like anthropology but here rather than primitive societies in anthropology we saw that we study primitive societies okay primitive societies but here we are more focused on the modern societies in modern societies again as a whole in the macro perspective okay we are not talking about micro perspective as a whole when we talk about society as a whole when we talk about society culture and the functioning of the entire society we are studying sociology okay and then there is also a hybrid branch of psychology and sociology which is called social psychology where we study social phenomenons from the psychological point of view okay where we study social phenomenons from the psychological point of view we study in group out group biases we study how attitude of the entire society is formed okay and and attitudes interests values of the society is something that we study in social psychology now next we are going to talk about political science so what is political science political science is the study of politics what does that mean it is the study of systems of power it is the study of governance it is the study of political thoughts and again here also psychology plays a very important role okay power is something which changes it is generally said that if you want to test a person's character you give him power why does a person's attitude why does a person's interests and values change with power so all of that can be studied from psychological point of view what kind of governance people like again from a psychological point of view can be studied election elections can be studied from a psychological point of view how cows revolts they take place can be studied from psychological point of view why do revolutions take place can be studied from psychological point of view so here also there is a hybrid branch which is called political psychology which studies politics from the psychological perspective the next we come to history here we study what is history history is studying important past events okay so what is history it is uh, you know where we study important past events whether it is our independence history post independence history pre independence history so all of them are nothing but important past events but why was gandhi the way he was why was hitler the way he was this all can be studied from psychological point of view okay why some people are altruistic okay why some people are narcissistic what kind of personality disorders you know uh, are there uh, in people from the historical point of view like in history we have seen hitler now was he having some personality disorder why was he doing the things that he was doing okay what kind of personality did gandhi have so all of this is in the history and we are studying history from psychological perspective that is called psycho history okay again a famous quote that future is the child of past so we need to understand our past so that we can build a better future and if we understand past from psychological perspective it can help us build a better future of this society and the world then we come to economics so economics is what economics is the study of production distribution consumption of goods and services okay whenever we are in the market we are making decisions and again decision making is a part of psychology okay when whenever we are choosing between two different commodities we are making some judgments okay we are employing thinking okay we are solving problems okay a daily household problems by making economic decisions so there is again a hybrid branch which we call behavioral economics that is something which deals with economics from the point of view of psychology richard thaler also called the father of behavioral economics has won a nobel in behavioral economics daniel kahneman which you are going to study in uh, decision making judgment uh, chapter is also somebody who has got a nobel okay 
so that was about behavioral economics or economics now we are going to focus on natural sciences how biology chemistry physics all of them are related to psychology how all of them have contributed to psychology okay first we come to physics so what is physics physics is the study of nature matter energy okay all of the uh, you know eeg electroencephalogram emg electromyogram ecg electrocardiogram so galvanic skin conductance test galvanic skin conductance it is uh, uh, used to check a person's physiological response to a psychological state again with the help of physics okay so with the help of physics we can uh, you know again very important uh, you know absolute absolute and differential threshold okay absolute and differential threshold is measured for ex- perception so in perception chapter you will deal with differential and absolute threshold and both of these measurement of both of these require us to use physics so psychophysics is a branch of psychology which deals with okay that is ps okay yes psychophysics is a branch of uh, you know under or a hybrid branch of physics and psychology which deals with all of this that how can we utilize physics how can we utilize physics in psychology how can we utilize physics in psychology and at the same time we can also utilize psychology in physics by making instruments which are more user friendly that how can you make an instrument which is more user friendly you will have to use psychology you need to understand the person's behavior so that the physical instrument that you have made is more useful that for that particular person okay next we come to chemistry so again in chemistry what is chemistry chemistry is the study of structure and function of chemicals okay and you might have heard of all of these terms antidepressants okay antidepressants then neurotransmitters neurotransmitters hormones okay so both of these are natural natural chemicals okay biochemicals okay antidepressants are the chemicals uh, you know that pharmaceutical companies make to make us feel less depressed okay there are anti anxiety medicines so all of this is chemistry which is helping us better understand psychology okay so what is chemistry chemistry is the study of structure and function of chemicals and this study of structure and function of chemicals is help is helping us better treat psychological disorders and better understand psychology of a human being okay so here again there are two hybrid branches psychopharmacology okay again uh, the study of drugs which we can utilize to treat psychological disorders and then psychoimmune neurology psychoimmune neurology is actually a hybrid branch of psychology biology and chemistry again talks about the neurons uh, that is a part of biology neurotransmitters for example dopamine acetylcholine gaba etc that is a part of chemistry and how it influences our behavior which is a part of psychology so both all three of them together combine and form psychoimmuno neurology okay next we come to biology that how psychology and biology are related now this is something which we probably understood uh, very early so physiological is psychology is something or is one of the oldest branches of psychology so what is biology biology is the study of life and living beings where we study cells where we study organs okay and where we study brain we study neurons okay we study neuronal transmission and all of them are very much related to psychology again because all of these are influencing our behavior okay the influencer behavior and it has been found uh, from the studies in brain plasticity that behavior also influences our neuronal connections okay for example it has been seen that or there are many theories uh, which state that to learn something or to memorize something you need to okay it is better that you elaborate it okay you do elaborate rehearsals and then it is better that you retrieve it frequently okay if you retrieve something frequently from your mind it gets better uh, you know ingrained in your memory and one of the reasons for that is better synaptic connection or stronger synaptic connection better synaptic or 
connections again what is synaptic connection so we are not going to go in detail here but uh, suppose this is one neuron and uh, this is second neuron so the connection that they have here it is known as synaptic connection okay so the synaptic connections they get stronger with bet more retrieval okay the more you revise something the better the synaptic connections are going to get and better memory will be there so again behavior is influencing our neurons or synaptic connections and our neurons and synaptic connections are in turn influencing our behavior so this is something that we study in biopsychology this is something that we study in physiological psychology in neuropsychology that how neuronal connections how uh, neurotransmitters how our brain how our body influences our mind okay so here essentially we are studying our mind body relationship okay or body mind relationship so in this video what did we study we studied that how psychology is related to social sciences such as anthropology okay anthropology economics history sociology okay and how it is related to natural sciences such as biology chemistry physics okay so guys we are going to meet in a new video very soon so please like share and subscribe bye bye